get into this video, please remember to subscribe, like and comment on our mom's YouTube channel, Sunflower Essay. Good day. Welcome to Sunflower Essay. Hope you all are fine uh, and you all are happy that you are going to enjoy Christmas tomorrow. We are also happy. We are also fine over here. Today I'm going to make a different uh, recipe from entirely other recipes. This is something traditional and it brings the nostalgic memories. This is called duck stew or taravo mapas uh, with the Kerala style, you see. So I'm going to make it now. Just journey with me and see every step of the process and then do try this at home. Before that, those who have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and support my channel. Let's get into the video. Okay. These are the items I'm going to grind it in this small jar. One is three to four inch of uh, ginger and some nearly 10 cloves of garlic. And this one is green chili, some four to five. It's a very tiny chili, so it's not hot. And one, this spoon of tablespoon of peppercorns. All this I'm going to grind for the first step of cooking the duck. Now, the oil is, I think it is hot now. I'm going to add the, okay, I don't know whether you can see guys, the items I told you, which I'm going to grind it. Those are the ones. Because here, the duck, I think it's an imported one, it, but it cooks very fast. So I'm not putting it in the cooker. But I'm not sure about places where you are. It is hard to boil straight. In that case, you can use your pressure cooker you have and then start to cook. Only thing is we need the duck to cook. <coughs> Minus is not too fine grinding, but it is fine. It's not rough also in the medium level. So once it is cooked now, I'm going to straightly add all the duck pieces which I cut it. I'll show you along with that one potato as well. Now the onion, not onion, this ginger garlic and uh, chili all cooked now so i'm going to add the duck into it you must wash nicely the duck and then duck will not cook like this so what i did the same grinding machine i think, I think you can see one cup so that it can cook nicely and i'm going to add some turmeric as well now i'm adding just quarter spoon of lemon powder my daughter is helping me for stirring as usual she's helping me and now as i told you for this duck stew or uh, taro mapas it's better to add one medium sized potato okay, this is called vatepam batter if you go and check my appam uh, batter eh, the same batter only I have uh, grind my white rice so you can go and check that one I'll give in the description box so that same type of batter I made for Vattepam Vattepam is a Kerala traditional rest, uh, dish it brings back the nostalgic memories when I was with my mom uh, what I did after grinding it overnight um, then I added four tablespoons of sugar and a pinch of cardamom and this vatepam is a steamed food the same idli pot i'm going to use it for this vatepam this is the base for keeping the steamed food in the pot i'll show you and this is the steel plate i'm using as you can see i brush with ghee but you can use it oil also it's nothing wrong in it you can use the oil as well so now i used with the ghee now i'm going to pour you can see i'm going to take the batter and pour it see the right consistency you can pour it maybe four to five i'm also going to check and tell you so three now this is four it should be in a thick bread size five and maybe six yes 
So six, this big scoop spoon, I have poured the batter. Then I'm going to place it on top of this one, this plate. Now the water is boiled. Now I place it on the top of that uh, plate and I'm going to close with the lid and maybe a couple of minutes you give, it will be ready by then. As you can see here, I cooked or you can say I braised the onions and the garlic, uh, sorry, curry leaves. So these two are merged together now. So we are going to add the rest of the spices. So the rest of the spices in the sense, we are not going to add chili powder and all. We are just going to add only coriander, two tablespoons. And then homemade garam masala, one and a half level teaspoon. And then give a nice stir like this. And then I'm going to add the duck, the one I cooked. It's cooked nicely now, so I'm going to add into it. As you can see, I added one potato on it. So everything has cooked nicely. I'm adding it here. So our work is finished. Only the final garnishing, that is just sprinkling the curry leaves. See, I used to hear canola oil because I always use due to some health conscious of children. They don't want so rich, rich food. But the authentic taste, if you want to get more richness, use coconut oil for this one. So that will be a real duck mappas or you can call it as duck stew. Then another thing we have to do it. I'm going to pour only the milk. Not the coconut milk because children doesn't like that flavor. As I said in my mm, potato, not potato curry, but that uh, egg curry. They love only that. So I'm going to pour it. But if you want to add, you pour nice coconut milk. I have done it like that. So, but you do it. Since my kids want like this, so I'm doing it like this. Uh, just give one or couple of minutes not more than five minutes eh? because my meat is cooked all the mother poultry meat is cooked already so I have to the final garnishing sprinkling the curry leaves then our nostalgic food is ready already oh it's back to my memories with my mom I miss you mom really I miss you in certain things I'm really miss you as you can see, the curry is cooked. So on top of this, I'm going to add the curry leaves, as you can see. And those who want to add more, it's optional only. A tablespoon or a scoop to spoon of oil, you can add it, which I'm not going to add because, you know, this duck also, it has got this oily uh, substance it's extract you know so i don't want that you can itself see here the oily so i think it's fine enjoy the festive season this is the what taper i steamed and i removed it from the pan now the next plate i have put it so this is the one we are going to cut it for the brunch i can say it's time almost after 11 so right so i finished this uh, cooking of duck stew or tarao mapas actually this item i have planned on the day of christmas morning breakfast but by that time, we have to be at the church. So I don't think so that is feasible for me to cook and eat and go. Normally, we don't eat when we go to church. So we took it off Christmas Eve, even in the previous day. It starts Christmas already. <laughs> so I thought we can give. I, I decided and I asked my family also, everybody happy. So we decided to take it this menu for our brunch on the previous day of Christmas. Christmas started already. 
this is actually um, taking me to the memories on my childhood days with my mom and all. She's the best for duck roast and for this one. And um, this one is with the vatepam or appam. Both the ways you can use it, right? And use the coconut oil that will give nice flavor. And uh, let me taste for you guys. And then I will let you know. I'm just tasting the gravy because I'm not a person of eating the red meat or the poultry meat. I'm openly telling you. But for the sake of the vlog, I have to review that. That's why I'm eating only the gravy. Sometimes I don't eat. I ask my family to taste. That's the reason, only reason behind. It's almost 10 years now I left this one. So before that, I was eating. Look at that, I was eating. So for gravy, it is fine. How is the um, uh, meat family? Is it fine? It was good. Good, eh? Okay. So my recipes are very simple. Do try this recipe and enjoy with your family. Uh, now I can't say festive season. Enjoy with the family during the Christmas time. Uh, Merry Christmas. But we'll see you in the uh, Christmas vlog. Am I right, ne? We make, uh, isn't it, yeah. Molo? We make food um, and then we will upload it. And this also I'm going to upload it to you guys on, I think maybe today. You will enjoy by watching it. But before I'm winding up this vlog, please do subscribe my channel. I need your support. Enjoy the Christmas with full spirit. Receive Christ in you. And then pray for this, the fourth wave of Omicron to leave entirely on the planet but our country is controlled now uh, we all are in the holidays mood so we are also going for holidays next week so it will be nice anyway thanks for watching it's bye from sunflower sa and the family can you all say together merry christmas merry, merry christmas, christmas. Bye -bye.